I was in uh, ROTC at Boston University, and uh, they, we went into the advanced corps. They accelerated us two summers. So while we were, we had to enlist then, and we were in enlisted reserve, and then uh, I guess sometime later they said we had to go on active duty. Uh, they started out by showing us a helmet, like the helmet I have. like this, and they, they, there was a hole in the back of the helmet, and the bullet had traveled around there and come out the front. They said, this happened in one of the things, so be careful. We got on the Saturnia and went across. It took us, uh, I don't know, 10 or 14 days to get across, and uh, they said we had to wear the wool uniform and the long underwear and tell us why. And we landed in, in Southampton, England, and got off of the Saturnia and went down the harbor there, uh, dock to a, a boat that went across to the northern France. And, uh, I don't know whether it was Utah Beach or Omaha Beach. And so here I was, first scout going across there. This was my first approach in the enemy. We always attacked in the cover of darkness. And so uh, it was dark and I went across the bridge there and I was starting to turn right and the machine gun opened up on me. And uh, I hit the dirt. I had an M3 submachine gun, and the muzzle was plugged with mud. And uh, they said, if you were training, if you fired a weapon plugged with mud, it blew up on you. So then I, we could hear some troops coming up here. I said, let's play dead in the ditch. And so uh, we did. And when they got up here, we found out they were Americans. Here, we didn't dare move because we were afraid they'd shoot us. Later on, I met the K Company, and I said, did you see us? It was K Company coming up there, and I said, did you see us in the ditch? And he said, yeah, I thought you were a bunch of dead German. But I didn't have any grenades. I, in training, I figured I was a lieutenant. I was directing activities. I, I didn't realize I was going to be the guy out in the front drawing fire. I should have known. I was, I'm kind of slow at thinking about things, because they asked me when I joined, what weapon do you want? And I said, well, I don't know. He said, well, how about this M3 submachine gun? This was Hanasowski's. He threw a grenade into a top of a, a German tank that was disabled and it blew up and killed him. And now I should have known from that that I should have carried grenades because a platoon leader needs grenades. Next day or so after they got food up to us and more ammunition, uh, we went into a town on the Blease River and that was the German border. And uh, we were out there in the cover of darkness and nothing happened. And, uh, engineers didn't get the boats up there until it was starting to get daylight. Mm -hmm. the company commander said, I don't care if I get court martial, we're going to stay out here and get slaughtered. So we all went back into town. But then the boats came, so we came out. And this is one time when I wasn't in the lead. And the rest of the company got across on the boats, and the last boat had room for one squad. And I decided Sergeant would go with the one squad, and I stayed with the two squads. And I had 12 men. I met a fellow that had on a cross and back in the hospital. I got hit that afternoon, and he said my 12 men was greater than the rest of the company put together at the end of that day. So I, that afternoon they said, secure the other end, sure, secure the end of town. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, put an outpost there so they can't attack us from the, from the I guess it was the south. And so I stepped out the door, and there was an orange flash across the street, a piece hit me. A bone here, half inch over, I'd be blind in one eye. If you sit in Adam's apple, if you go like that on Adam's apple real hard, well, that's what it felt like. It hurt to swallow, and a piece of my leg, and then I've got a mortar fragment in, uh, right there, in between there. And I had a, these combat boots open up, and the seam opens up in the back, and then it squeezes your Achilles tendon, and I had a quarter inch high lump on both ankles. There, and I would have had a good limp on before I got hit. So when I got hit, my uh, aid man took his armband off. He has a white band with a red cross on it. He took that off. He took my weapon, and uh, he became a, a rifleman. And I went back to the uh, aid station, and then on back to the hospital in Nancy, France. And then I went to the hospital in Paris. And then to the Sherberg and across the, uh, Australian ship back to England in the Royal Hospital 
We didn't, I didn't even know the Bama bullet was going off. All I just knew was that I, they sent me back to England. I wasn't that brave to get out of bed. The guys with the cast on their arm and legs took passes to London and Stratford on Avon and all the points of interest of England. And I just stayed in bed until they told me I had to get out. And then after a month, they said, well, you got to start training. And finally, then I went back to the front and rejoined them at Rheinberg. Was there about a day or so, and then we crossed the Rhine on the pontoon bridge, and then we went up through the. Well, we had a couple of days of uh, meeting the enemy, and uh, here I was in the in the lead, coming out of the woods, and uh, tried to get into a, a building. I had a pair of those hard wire cutters, and I couldn't cut the chain link fence, so I finally got in the front door in my pack, like I have here. And this was sticking out, and I was in the doorway, and the walls were that thick, and uh, I said, well, I guess this is it, but uh, it wasn't. They were shooting at the rest of the company pinned down on the road, and finally I uh, was broke the, or knocked on the door, and the civilians came in and opened it, then my platoon got in there, and then the whole company got in there, and then after the thing was all over, we had to go out into the woods that night, and that night was the night I received these two stacks of letters from home. While we were along the Rheinhern Canal, uh, an S-2, uh, that's an intelligence officer, he asked for four men from my platoon to uh, go across the Rheinhern Canal, and I wasn't smart enough to tell him, tell these men, that they said K Company was going to provide cover fire to shoot the enemy so that it would be hurt anyway. Um, I wasn't smart enough to tell them to make sure that K Company was there. Now, I don't know whether K Company was there or not, but all I know is that they got fired on on the canal. Two of them were swimmers and two of them weren't. One swimmer and one non-swimmer got back, and those are the only two men that I lost while I was in charge.